I think many of us will get through the day today without seeing any rain, but once we get into tonight and through Friday and even Saturday, we will deal with uh, some rounds of showers and even a few thunderstorms at times. Saturday definitely looks to be the wetter of the two days over the weekend, but we could have a few lingering showers, especially early in the day on Sunday and then drying out heading into early next week. Let me take you through the future cast. And so as I mentioned today, the wind will pick up. It'll become a little bit breezy. Uh, skies will be overcast by this afternoon and then as far as any rain late in the day early this evening we may start to see a couple of showers moving into some of our western counties but i think the better chance for some scattered showers will come in a little bit later on tonight this is daybreak on friday morning so it's not raining everywhere it actually looks like maybe some of the uh, the more widespread rain may stay a little bit closer to the coast but then heading into Friday late in the afternoon into Friday evening, you can start to see a little uptick in coverage, maybe even a few embedded thunderstorms too. If we can get enough instability to start to move north with time, we may have to keep an eye on a few of these showers and storms uh, should they start to, uh, to get pretty strong. We could see maybe an isolated severe storm or two. This is for later in the day Friday, more so Friday evening into Saturday. You can see a low end threat that we could see a, uh, a strong or briefly severe storm during that time frame. So again, that would be for Friday evening. I know when some of the, the playoff games are going on too. So today, most spots rain free until we get into this evening or tonight. And you can see those rain chances coming up. As I mentioned, drying out on Sunday, temperatures will climb into the 60s. So it will be pretty mild through the weekend. Rick? Thanks, Daphne. It's uh, just turning 548. Uh